is a great moment in economics. It was simply intimidating. Three decades ago, the young behavioral crowd, and I mean they were young, they took on the giants of rational expectations in a packed Chicago auditorium. Richard Thaler and a skinny kid from Yale had to go up against Robert Lucas, Merton Miller, Gene Fama, and Sherwin Rosen. None other. The, the, the giant George Stigler sat in the rationalist cheering section, ready to throw popcorn at this twerp Thaler. Disdain was had by all. It was just like the Cubs against the White Sox. But it was also a window into a dead serious debate, and it continues to rage today. I mean, today it could be John Cochran and Thaler or whoever. Why does this debate rage between the mathy guys and the behaviorists? Well, I think uh, everyone is reluctant to change. Um, you know, one of the mistakes we talk about all the times in behavioral economics is people fail to ignore sunk costs. And uh, economists are guilty of that, too. If you've spent your life building models of fictional creatures that are smart as the smartest economist, you're reluctant to give them up. And uh, day to be damned. What do the new kids tell you when they come into Chicago or even into the Booth School? There's a new breed coming in. Are they Thalerites or are they Lucasites? They're open-minded. You know, I They're say, taking from both worlds. Yeah, and it's not, behavioral economics isn't controversial if you're under 40. I haven't changed a single person's mind. Mm -hmm. uh, all I've done is corrupt the youth. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, there's an old saying, science marches on funeral by funeral. So uh, we're going to win, uh, meaning our field will disappear and economics will become as behavioral as it needs to be and it won't be by convincing uh, my buddy Gene Fama it'll be by convincing the current grad students. Mm -hmm. You write in your book that in your career you were surprised that uh, behavioral economics uh, made inroads into finance but not macroeconomics. What's left to be done in the field of macro? Everything. I, I mean I think if we've learned anything from the financial crisis is we know nothing yeah. Just think about what we're trying to figure out, what to do with Greece. There, there's no consensus among economists whether Greece should be applying more or less austerity. Well, I, I mean, was, you know, how, how basic can we get? Specifically to that, I was stunned to see that the IMF was retooling its models to admit heterogeneity. And to normal mortals, the word heterogeneity just means different people react differently to the same economic stimulus. It's shocking that that wasn't already part of their assumptions. You know, look, the, the basic problem is that if you write down a mathematical model, the easiest one to write down is one where everyone's the same yep. and they're really smart. <clears throat> if you start to allow for heterogeneity and some whimsicalness, which right. means us, yeah. the models get really hard. Within our world, we listen to someone like Mohammed El Arian who talks about unknown unknowns. I want to go back to Hayek and the London School of Economics and then on to Stiglitz in the work of, of Arrow and um, Akerlof and the rest about the things we don't know. Do you have a renewed respect, not for what we can observe and what fancy academics can do or market economists like Priya Misra can do, do you have a new respect for the stuff we simply don't know? that is out there. I, 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 it's not a renewed respect. Uh, I, I think we know far less than we think we do. Particularly if you're in the media business. It works great. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and uh, you know, the media is really good at confident predictions that mm -hmm. um, they forget about the next day. But Professor Taylor, yet you say we should all think like economists, so that would make the world a better place. Uh, not necessarily, because, uh, you know, the people we study are jerks <laughs> and uh, never make any contributions to charity and will steal from you if they can. You know, uh, real, real people are a lot nicer than economists give them credit for. Final question, 10 seconds. We hit up that Cubs-White Sox graphic later. Cubs or White Sox? Richard Thaler. Cubs, North Side guy. Very good. Richard Thaler, thank you so much. The book, Misbehaving, can't say enough about this. It is a walk through 30 and even 40 years of economic history. Richard Thaler.